All right, game, you're getting a little silly now. Now you guys kind of see why I skip the routes while recording now. At any rate, I'm going to shove those stones because I believe they create a shortcut back if I ever have to come through here again, which, all luck withstanding, I won't have to, but if I don't, I definitely will. You know how these things go. Or not. Oh, whatever, I just wanted to shove them. Can I be faulted that? I mean... If there's anything this cha this, this cave, Chargestone Cave, has taught me, it's, you know, I ohm who I ohm. Hi. Dragon Gem. This was like a two first, so I better be sure I have the right... Yeah, exactly that. Hi. Okay. Gotta love it when that happens. Wow, oh, I didn't even know you could encounter Bulldor in the wild. Gee, we're not too far from uh, Roll Evolving. Gee, several of our Pokémon are getting to that point. We're the Nugget Brothers, I'm the Big Brother, and I'm the Little Brother of the Nugget Brothers. If I showed up, I'd want to give you this. Uh, alright. I want to give you this too. Hmm. Well, my expectations are certainly defied. Ah, shouldn't have done that. Alright. But on the upside, if it was a battle, I would have been ready for it. Better prepared and unnecessary than necessary and unprepared, right? My cross transceiver and that like weird IR gadget that they gave me, these things would be like be history by now. People don't understand just how sensitive electronics can be when it comes to electrostatic shock. You, you can't hear somebody manipulated you. If it really against me, I'll tell you the secret. Yeah, he's being manipulated by somebody. By me. Because, you know, I have the controller and all. It was funny in my head. Thankfully, at least Rocket Crunch are kind of a change in pace given how slow things have been as of late. Sand out, looks like it needs a bath. Let me help. actually have a solid counter to that. Even if I had Go Go, I wouldn't. I think that wasn't too bad. my best bet for now. Alright, time we now we get to press our luck, I guess. Alright. I can't believe I lost. I'll make your Pokemon healthy. Let me challenge you to a battle first. Okay, mixing the signals a little, but I mean, hey, who am I? Don't think that would work. Oh. Alright, you caught me off guard. That was not a Pokemon I was expecting to encounter in this place. Hmm. It's dangerous. It's near the grass type move and quad weak. That's okay. For Pokemon like you, I've already got a plan.
Oh, jeez, really? Of course, there's no luck into a crit hit, of course. Alright, maybe my brilliant strategy of bringing an ice type in lieu of a fire type wasn't the best possible solution. <clears throat> Didn't think about that. What? Come on. Just gotta hope that roll's overall just bulky build is enough to get us through this. Really? No, I meant to use headbutt, but alright. <sighs> of course, it's a critical hit. I really need a fire type. It's not amazing that I've been put in this position. Mm. That's Bug Bite for Oregano, and it has Raise Relief for Angelica. It's really just kind of a lose-lose no matter what I do. And then it just chooses not to attack, which is interesting, to say the least. Okay, I think that she was fast enough to make that work. That was much more difficult than it should have been. My, my Pokemon lose energy. Yeah, I mean, you only could have luck sacked me for so long, dude. So I promise I'll your Pokemon healthy. Thank goodness, you're the one who knocked most of them out. If you people healthy, doctors go where they are needed. I'm, like, okay. <laughs> I'll just take your word on that. I am not a medical professional, so, um... What's over here, anyway, Doc? What are you guarding? Oh. Back the way I came. It didn't even matter. Hi. If I went against you, release your Pokemon. No! What are you gonna do if I went against you? Huh? You're not gonna release your Pokemon, and you only have one! That's not equal exchange. Ugh, what a bad startup. I get hit with something like Brick Break or something, I'm really not gonna have a good time with that. Roll is tanky, but I don't like taking chances if I can avoid it. <laughs> Thanks for the buff. That was a little bit of luck on my part. Now, as I was saying, I'm mortified. I'm just stunned. Don't you ever been happy next to you? Yep. Because I'm awesome. Pokemon living in this charge on cave are so beautiful because they're free from people. Um, there's lots of people in this cave. I don't think even the wild ones are really free of us. Can't tell if you hurt yourself or me more with that. Do they have the same basic shape when I was looking at them this then? Roll and Trubbish.
Like, did you think I was gonna switch out just because you used Torment on me? That's not how this works. Nice. Oh my, no, no. Out of the way. You too. I'm never going to get away if I try to run. I'll just hit it real hard. Fun thing about Roll is, it's actually the first time I've raised a rock type that didn't have a ground secondary type. So the fact that lightning actually affects her still kind of surprises me sometimes. You, you're the trainer that my Lord N is worried about. Yep. Yeah, that's me. That's one has three Pokemon. We're really stepping it up now. Yeah, that didn't do anything for you. Nice try, though. <laughs> wow, when I said that, you know, all plasma grunts are garbage, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. all them too, so that's kind of a kind of a moot point at this point as well. Hi. Uh, note to self, get some max repels next chance you get. As a proud member of Team Plasma, I will gladly battle with you. It's all or nothing time, Dutaku. Of course. He'd rather punch himself in the face. Dang. That was pretty cool. Can't say that's the first time that's happened, just... Try at least. Yeah. 
Yeah, supposedly there's a nest of Galvantula down here, but there's no actual Galvantula. They're all Joltek. I hope a Team Plasma. Well, it has nothing to do with you. I should hope not. I suppose for now it'll do just fine. Hey, what was that? You're too strong. Uh, I mean... It's just me being me, dude. Actually, you know what? Let's fuzzy up here. A little bit of a risk involved, but not an unmanageable one. I'm gonna train your Pokemon. Show me your strength. You use Pokemon. Like, by definition, if I'm a trainer, of course I do. Ah, oh, rats. I might still be able to win just fine. It's just a little disadvantageous for me. that right let's make a little nap on the job right Come on, Fuzzy. You know, that was the thing I actually really liked in Pokemon Coliseum, was uh, instead of having a run command, you always had call, and it could uh, help snap them out of confusion and wake them up faster. It was just, like, a really nice command to have. It helped in the event you, like, you know, didn't have wake-up slap and the such. Come on, Fuzzy. You got this. I was about to say, I've been confused for a while now. I think it's time for that to go the way. Jeez. I see, you're very good at using Pokemon. Yeah, you think? I should probably go back to that doctor over there and heal. Alright, one sec, folks. And we're back. With, of course, of course, more random encounters. But, uh, in, directly ahead of us. Come on, out of the way. Hi. Many different values mixed together, and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Title drop. Only then will Pokémon become perfect beings. Yes, this is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. No, you're dumb. There's a person without a dream could ever understand me. I guess I have to crush your will here. I think he was actually asking me, you know, do you have a dream of which to speak? And I probably still would have said no just to be arbitrary, but... This is a questionable start, depending on the kind of move he chooses to use. 
I might still be able to use this regardless, but... Even if he knocks out Fuzzy, I at least have left a mark. Nice. I don't know what good lowering his speed's gonna do at this point. <laughs> do you believe that Pokemon battles help us understand one another? I don't think they can. I think it says a lot about a person depending on the Pokemon they use and the strategies they employ. Like, which Pokemon are your favorites? Kind of its own little personality test, right? Mine's Flygon. Yeah, we should switch out. Let's, see. Let's make things interesting by turning the tables around. Will you be able to do what you, you know, to me, what I did to you? I mean, no, but it's an interesting thing to ask. I never know what rules ability is. It might be sturdy. So it's not like it matters. Tenryl's not holding a berry. Uh, she's holding a quick claw. Which isn't edible. Looks like my Joltik and my Bulldor are better than yours. Pharisee. Let's see. It's grass steel. This is a bad time all around, isn't it? Alright, I think Yutaku's gonna be our best bet. It's not perfect, but... Well, I mean, nothing in life ever is, right? Give it your all, buddy. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh yeah, you got an iron barb in the foot. Sorry about that. Shall show you the love my friends permeates every fiber of my being. Behold. Bog. Yes, uh, I have beheld, indeed, true cunning. My friend's getting hurt, that's what a Pokemon battle is. Yeah, and since I don't suck, my friends don't get hurt. See how that works? Ugh, why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the truth with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with a legendary Pokemon. Snack! Hi! Just a little further than a mis Mistral Tron Mistral Mistral Ton City. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Snack's voice from that far away. I wasn't talking that loud. Snack, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. It's the very idea the Pokedex revolts me. Well, it does to me, too, but for completely different reasons. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away. But I hope you'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think they'll go collect a little more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about them. Um, Snack, I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now, because I'm our bodyguard. Okay, you don't have to explain yourself to me. Whoops. Oh well. Excellent. This is actually a big milestone. I've been hoping to come here for a while. That's where we're going to take a break at any rate, but thankfully, not only will we be taking on the next gem, we'll also get the opportunity to actually get a Fire-type Pokémon that I'm allowed to use. 
So that should be exciting. I'll see you guys there.